Whitney Houston at Isle of Wight Radio. I want to dance with somebody. Hello, morning. It's Paul and Emily here. Jamie joining us because it is the big one today. It's two all. Is that right? It is two all. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to see how we do today as we play headline or hearsay for a Friday morning. You can join us on Facebook Live and help out there along there, which uh, is always marvellous. Uh, right. Are we ready, guys? Yes. yes. <laughs> Good. Said with so much conviction. I know. Let's do it. Police have released CCTV footage of a man who stole a £70 lump of doner meat from a takeaway in Preston. It's alleged the man ordered a large kebab and then complained it wasn't big enough. After a short argument, he ran into the back and legged it with the full doner. He was last seen running down the road while drunk students watched in amazement. <laughs> Headline or hearsay? So when you go into, not that I very rarely go into kebab shops, but sure. it, like, the, the big thing that goes round yes. on the spit. That's yeah, that's it. It's hot, isn't yeah. it? It's always so. looked quite sizzly. Yeah. I know. I sort of would love to have a oh, go just, on that, though. No, just have a, just a, just have a bite. Just take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> just in the side. <laughs> <laughs> like a massive meaty corn on the cob. Oh. Yeah. Um, is that true? I mean, I, I imagine it would be very hot to get off. Unless it was one that was just at the side that they were going to put on and it was a cold one. Like a raw one. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. I'm guessing that if you're going to steal £70 worth of... You at least want it warm. That you probably don't even think about that. Um, th this is true. What do we think? Online, Kitty says headline. Haley says headline. Joe says headline. Emma says headline. Haley says headline. Keith says headline. Simon says headline. So, what are we going with? Headline, I reckon. Is it a headline, Jamie? It is a headline. Hey. See? Always trust our Facebook friends. It must have been a cold one. That's all I can say. It can't, <laughs> can't have been straight off unless you had the right gloves. You're like, guys, guys! <laughs> Party's at my house. <laughs> oh. Let's do another one, shall we? So at the moment, we are in the lead, Emily. Lucky Jamie Bateson has a job that millions of football fans could only dream of, playing FIFA all day. He quit as a mechanic and now makes a living posting online videos of himself playing one of the world's most popular games. His YouTube video started by getting a 1,000 views a clip, but now he gets more than 50,000 every day. It's spiralled into a full-time job for him. Headline or hearsay? Mm, I don't think 50,000 is enough. No, I think it'd be more... Like, people love this stuff, don't they? Yeah. I mean, we have more than that on some of our videos. We Five do. Five and a half thousand people watched me eat a Kit Kat the other day. <laughs> well, not People yet. will literally <laughs> watch any old rubbish. <laughs> to be fair... It wasn't the traditional way of eating a Kit Kat. You were sucking it up through a... A cup of tea. A cup of tea. tea. Yeah, that's, that is the way to eat a Kit Kat. Um, this, uh, yeah, I think this is true, but I think the numbers are skewed. Mm. Because, yeah, people, people don't even play their own computer games anymore. They just watch other people do it. It's I, so weird. I, yes, yes, very weird. I wouldn't do that, ever. I, I, like, I find even playing a computer game, a football computer game... Like, I mean, it's minorly more interesting than actually watching football to be playing it. But I still don't just go and play football. But if you, if you get the right game and yeah. you get some really good people playing, I'm not talking football games because they're boring. Whoa. But, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Spyro the Dragon. More your kind <laughs> Crash of thing. Bandicoot. Wow, let's go back to the 90s, guys. <laughs> All right, okay. I don't know. <laughs> Dated reference. Echo the Dolphin. I was, think <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more, you know... Call of Duty. Ah, uh, okay. No. Yeah. Oh, I call that COD. COD. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, exactly. That's what it's COD. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, the new mm -hmm. one. Fantastic. That Watch that. Yeah. Watch that on a, you know. But why not just watch a film? Like, you could go and watch a James oh. Bond film oh, instead. Oh, you're missing the point. Just doesn't get it. Missing the point. No. So no, I'm not missing the point. <laughs> but millions of people out there who are doing it are missing the point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only sane one here. Yeah. So, headline or hearsay, <laughs> what's Facebook telling us? Uh, Jean just says, morning, all from Birmingham. Uh, Dave has just parked the car to listen. He says, headline. Morning, Dave. Morning, morning Dave. Dave. Uh, Haley says, headline. Keith says, hearsay. 
Uh, Kirsty says hearsay. Ishbel says hearsay. Christine says hearsay. Jean Lees says uh, morning from Birmingham. Boom. Morning, Jean. Go on, you sure? Let's all right there, Jean. Are you all right there? You all right? You having a nice weekend, <laughs> are you? Have a nice Black Friday. <laughs> Rich and Tat are playing from uh, Chipping Sodbury ah, this morning. There we go. Yeah, actually, it says they're in a distillery at the moment. I mean, oh. it's quite early for that. And there's, yeah. a, there's a uni group on the Red Funnel as well. <laughs> really? Same headline. headline. Yeah. Oh, have a good day. Uh, so, we're going headline, Jamie. Are you? Are you sure? Are, are we? we? Oh, I don't I know. know. I think oh, sorry. Are off. Are we I going? Think, okay. No, for 50,000 views, you ain't making a living. Okay. Need more than that, okay. I reckon. Right. Hearsay. Yes, my double bluff works. Oh. It's a headline. Oh. Come on. Oh, hold on. I've even put the wrong thing up. <laughs> oh, uh, it's all Too gone much excitement. Hor- all gone horribly wrong. Uh, oh, so it really is all to play for on this final one. Come on, Facebookers. Because to be honest... Emily and I are completely rubbish for this game. <laughs> well, I was going to say headline, wasn't I? You were. Yeah. yeah and you stopped me. Men have developed a reputation for insisting on holding the remote. And now a survey has found this behaviour could be down to the fact they don't trust others with it. When surveyed, men claim to know far more about TVs, including how they work and their specifications, than women. This can cause them to take charge of setting up the boxes, as well as choosing what to watch, because they think they know best. Headline or hearsay? I reckon maybe like ten years ago that might have been the case. But I don't know if men... Do men still do that? My my husband lit. He's the he's the other way around. He's like, oh, um, I d- I don't know how to do. Like he just work. He's oh, not really? interested. He'll be just oh, um, should we watch a DVD? How how do we do that? <laughs> and then I have to ring Paul because I don't know. Right, right. <laughs> how do I watch a DVD? I've got the cheapest TV I could buy in Curry's. Uh, <laughs> There's no hole for it. Just got to pause Call of Duty. Hang on a minute. I'll help you. (laughs) Yeah, do do men still Um, claim the remote? I don't know. I think think one... A little bit. I don't tend to do it. That's because in your house you don't have a remote. You've just got one of those posh things where you go, Telly, turn (laughs) on. I'd like to play Call of Duty. (laughs) Or watch a YouTube video of someone else watching, playing it. (laughs) Yeah, what's wrong with that? Clearly, been to your house. Yeah, hasn't you? <laughs> dear me, it's the future. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, mm, uh, mm, mm, I don't know. I know that uh, you know whatever I say here, I'm going to get complaints that I'm being sexist. So I'm, I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> I'm choosing to just be reasonably quiet on this. All that I will say is that my wife will always put on BBC One on Sky as one o one. And everybody, oh, that annoys me. Everybody <laughs> in the house goes, 115, it's in HD on 115. <laughs> it's the same with ITV. Yeah. Oh, wow, what is happening here? I don't know what I you're know. talking about. Not 103, 178. 178, it's not hard. This is like another language to I'm me. I'm so pleased. I thought it was just me. <laughs> no. Dave Blake says, my wife has the remote and I have her permission to say so. <laughs> Emma says, headline, just let them think they know best. Uh, Tom says, haha, sounds like it would be a headline. Uh, but then goes to say hearsay. Kirsty says, her daughter's damaged her taste buds, but she says headline. Um, Dave Rees says, lol, same, 115, 178. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. The channel number. I don't yes. have channels. I just have Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Our telly's broken. It's been broken for years. We watch on the smallest laptop in the world. Oh, wow. My poor son, when we go, when we go to our gra- his grandparents' house, thinks it's the cinema because they've got a proper size telly. <laughs> Are we going headline or hearsay? I have no idea. I think that's hearsay. It's a headline. Oh, I was oh. going to say headline. <laughs> yes. Oh, I have Look won. at you like... Unbelievable. Cheat. No. <laughs> You're a cheat. No. <laughs> Emily's answer's final. Because <laughs> Emily yeah. has the remote control. Exactly. The remote. She calls the shots. Oh, so. I've won. You've won. I don't know what to do. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 
would have paid more attention <laughs> if I'd known there was that to You pay know what for. that means, though? Because it's Black Friday, it's the only Friday of the year that the person that wins <laughs> buys <laughs> lunch. Here we go. Oh, Thank you, Jamie. Jay, that's nice. Oh, I feel that we've let down Facebook today. Thanks, Facebook. Facebook. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm you know, no. a bit emotional about Winning, this. Winning's not a normal thing for you, is it? Uh, right. <laughs> we'll get the latest travel news for the Isle of Wight in just a few. We're overrunning something unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. Uh, we'll get the latest travel news next on Isle of Wight Radio. Topping in the morning on Isle of Wight.